Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in a Year 2021. We're in day 126, and today we're going to be looking at six psalms. So following the way that we've been doing the psalms, we're just going to uh, highlight something uh, out of the psalm that, that, that we can learn from. Because uh, the psalms are just so fantastic. This was one psalm you, you could spend most of the day with. So in uh, we're going to start off with Psalm 89. And just looking at a, a couple of verses here, verses, uh, verses 49 to 50, um, we see, so God, where is all this love and kindness you promised us? What happened to your covenant with David? Have you forgotten how your own servants are being slandered? Lord God, it seems like I'm carrying, carrying in my heart all the pain and abuse of many people. This is such a fantastic psalm that allows us um, to understand that we can come before Yahweh with our questions and, and that, you know, as much as we know, as much has been revealed to us, uh, there is still plenty of mystery, still plenty of questions. Um, and it's not necessarily that, that we get the answers for it, uh, but it demonstrates to the Lord that we understand the promises that he's given to us and we take them seriously. Um, he, um, the psalmist, you know, can come before him with these questions because um, it's, he has made these promises. He, he has said these things that um, he, he loves them and, and he's there to protect them and to prosper them. And by asking questions, things can be revealed to us. You know, uh, you're in this condition because uh, of, of this, or uh, this is what you've done, and this is how I've responded, and, and um, it, it, it's just part of our relationship that we've been allowed to have, you know, uh, where, where is all this love and kindness you promised us, and, and quite often, although we, we may not get the specific answers, he does, he does show where he is in situations, if we ask, if we ask him, Lord, where are you right now? Where are you in this? What, what are you doing in this? Where can I see you in this? And, and quite often the reasons that we can't see and we don't know is because we don't ask. We make assumptions. We, we rage. Uh, we go on. We can, this, he, <laughs> he's, he loves it when we come to him with questions. Um, and that's part of our relationship. So we've, we've got to keep that in mind. And, and that's why I, I love this psalm uh, the, with the many questions that are asked. In, in Psalm 96, um, it, there, there is a call to worship here. And we, we should at least every day be able to enter into the base, into the minimum type of worship, which is worship God as our creator. Worship Yahweh as our creator. Uh, even if there are days that we find it hard to, to see him as dad, as, as uh, maybe there, there are days. And, and we have to understand that circumstances can change um, our perspective. And that's why we need to stand on his word we need to stand on, on the promises that he's given to us. We need to stand on those things because they're, they're absolutely guaranteed, written for us. Uh, they are ours. Uh, nothing changes that. And we stand on those promises because our, our days can look different from one day to the next. Circumstances uh, dictate a lot. But this is why we can dwell in this place of peace and of joy because those things don't change. And so we see here in verses three to five, take the message of his glory and miracles to every nation. Tell them about all the amazing things he has done for the Lord's greatness is beyond description and he deserves all the praise that comes to him. He is our King God and it's right to be in holy awe of him. Other gods are absolutely worthless for the Lord God is creator God who spread the splendor of the skies and, and it goes on, but this just gives us a, a just a, a glimpse of that. You know, if, if this is as far as we can get, we, we open up our curtains in the morning, we look outside and Lord, I just thank you as the God creator for giving us the rain today. We thank you for the way it replenishes things and just 
um, brings um, life. And we thank you for the watering the crops and taking care of the flowers and, and, and the fruit trees and, and all that. Or you open it up and it's the beautiful sunshine. And Lord, we thank you for the warmth of the sunshine. We thank you for the, 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 the rays of sunshine that add to the growth of everything around us. We thank you for the way it, it just gladdens our heart. There's, there's always... At night, you go outside and you look up at that sky. And Lord, I thank you for the splendor of the night sky. I thank you for the way that it describes your majesty, your, your glory. It's just an amazing thing. There's, there's always something around us. It's, if, if we find it hard in our circumstances to find the things that we're thankful in those circumstances, we can at least thank him for the context in which we find ourselves which is always in his creation. And, and it's, it's important to remember that and, and to be there in that. Um, Psalm 100 is, is a song of, <clears throat> this is a song of victory, uh, is what it is. And it's, it's also a, a reminder to us that we belong to him. All these Psalms are just absolutely great reminders. And they just, they keep us in a, in a steady place. They remind us constantly of the context of our lives. And so we see here, worship Yahweh with gladness, sing your way into his presence with joy and realize what this really means. We have the privilege of worshiping Yahweh, our God. We have the privilege for he is our creator and we belong to him. We are the people of his pleasure. Yeah, see, this is, this is. It's again, so we, we go beyond creation to the fact that we belong to him. We are the people of his pleasure. Um, hmm. These things lend our, us, us to that, that place of, of, of worship, that place of well-being with him, that place of, of walking humbly before him um, as, as we put all these things in, into place in, in our lives and, and, and allow it to shape our perspective of things. In uh, Psalm 101, this is a, a song of dedication um, to Yahweh, um, being dedicated to him, loving him. I will be loyal to you. I am dedicated to you. I will follow all your ways and all your instructions. There is no one in, in my life uh, like you. You, you, are, you are above all things. This is, this is the attitude. Do we wake up with this attitude? Lord, I will sing about your faithful love for me. This is... Verses one to three, my song of praise will have your justice as its theme. I'm trying my best to walk in the way of integrity, especially in my own home, but I need your help. I'm wondering, Lord, when will you appear? I refuse to gaze on that which is vulgar. I despise works of evil people and anything that moves my heart away from you. I will not let evil hold me in its grip. Mm -hmm. This dedication, I belong to you, and I, I will not be enticed by anything else, Lord. Um, <clears throat> and, then, and then we have this Psalm 105, this lengthy psalm, and it really goes through the, the, some of the history uh, that it gives us. But it, it's the conclusion yeah, th that it comes to, this important conclusion. Um, and it's something for us to keep in mind of why we're here and, and why we have what we have and why things are the way they are. In, in verses 44 to 45, it says, He gave them lands and nations, just like he promised, fruitful lands of crops they had never planted were now theirs. All this was done. All this was done for them so that, there you go, paper Bible in front of you, underline that, so that they would be faithful to keep the ways of God obeying his laws and following his truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He does the things he does out of love for us, but also so that he can be glorified. So people can look at us and know who he is. We don't always live that way. We, we often choose a poverty mindset. We don't allow him to have the glory through our living. We go from from strength to strength. We go from glory to glory. That's how we're supposed to be living, from victory to victory. 
uh, and it may be in the circumstances of, uh, in the context of some very difficult circumstances, but, but we live in such a way that he receives the glory for it. We live with such joy and peace and we receive any enrichment from him. Um, yeah, it's for his glory. And then in, in, uh, the, in Psalm 132, um, it's, it's really, this is a prayer for David. Um, it's, a, it's just a, a prayer, a blessing over him. Verse 9 to 10, may your priests wear the robes of righteousness and let all your God, godly lovers sing for joy. Don't forsake your anointed king now but honor your servant, David. It's not just David, but for David's descendants, the whole family of David. This is such a, a powerful a prayer, a blessing, uh, which would, you know, this is how we should be praying for our leaders. We should be praying God's blessing over their lives and everything that belongs to them and their descendants. Um, it is something to be a leader of a country. And, and we know that the Lord raises them up and he, and he brings them back down. And it's our responsibility to pray for them. So let's, let's pray for them. Let's be honorable people and pray for our leaders in the same way that uh, the psalmist here prayed over David. So there you go. Lots of good stuff there for you to, to chew on and consider uh, in, in our, our pursuit of relationship here and understanding Yahweh and the importance of relationship in all of that. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And uh, I will see you here again tomorrow. Uh, and thank you for being on this journey with me. God bless.